finished all the floors. All of them. They're done. Done! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I could tell you anything, right? It's TV. Everybody's lying. <laughs> not the tape. The tape is not lying. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, this is... I didn't push it at all. You saw that, right? Yeah. One more time. Good. Cause... Oh, God. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I also found out that the reason why the floor was so uneven was not that the house was drooping in the middle, which we sus suspected, which also would be fine, it's an old house, that happens. It was something else. This beam right here, it was two centimeters higher than the rest of the beams. And I could tell that somebody was, it was just a mistake. They had the, they mixed up materials or mixed up thicknesses, some, I don't know. But somebody, you could see the chisel marks. Somebody was trying to get it level, but then they gave up. And that's why, because this beam was higher than every, everything else, we had kind of like a tent situation. <laughs> and that's why the drooping was so bad, because this is slightly, slightly uh, lower. Uh -huh. So it was actually a very easy fix. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about the transitions of the floors in between the rooms. Because I can already hear the comments, but Laura, there's this little gap. People will trip and break their necks. No, they won't, because this will be carpet and then it will be perfectly even. And let's talk about the stairs. It perfectly evens out. Remember, the stairs dictated the height of the whole rooms. It is a little wonky, but that's the stairs, never the floor. But let me tell you about my favorite transition. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And this floor is done too. Transitions are not ideal because <laughs> remember, <laughs> this floor needs to be raised six centimeters. There will be insulation here because underneath this is the cellar. We don't want to have cold feet. And while we're down here, I want to talk about the installation layer. I heard a lot of comments um, of people being, being disappointed that we won't see the half timbered frame when the house is done. I know. Disappointing, but two reasons. First of all, historically, the house never had exposed wood because it's not oak beams, it's spruce. And that's not great to expose that to the elements because it's not as durable as oak. We also didn't rebuild it with oak, we rebuild it with spruce. And that is the second point. I think exposed timber frame looks great if you have these old crooked, old like beams, like the, the oak beams. But this new super straight wood, it doesn't look good as a timber framed house, if you ask me. So I'd rather cover it. We have, it allows us to do the installation layer. It allows us to insulate it from the outside. But I agree with you that the half timber frame is beautiful and that's why I wanna have it exposed in the inside of the house. Which also gives this cool contrast of, you know, modern aesthetic and traditional aesthetic like we have it here this exposed timber frame looks beautiful and i want to have that everywhere in the house and that leads me to today's confession because i said it so many times we're finally done deconstructing we're not we have to rip out the walls upstairs so we can have this frame and before you say anything, remember, the timber frame is responsible for the stability and the fill in the wall is not for stability, that's just for windproofing and insulation. So it is okay to take it out upstairs. <sighs> but it is a lot of work, so let's get to it. Okay, this is the game, let's go. Yeah.
Gut aus. Mal testen. Ja. Yeah. Du magst deine Nachbarn, ne? Ja. Yeah. <lacht> I worry about all of their cars getting dusty and their windows being dirty. Okay, let's see if this is less dusty. You safe? Yes. Ja. Viel besser. have to be a little bit careful in this area because this is also where the last electricity is don't worry this is old um, but yeah just so this is the uh, fuselage yeah maybe I don't know if that's the right word but we have to kind of hammer around this part fuse box fuse box fuse box fuse box so try not to hit any of the important stuff. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is it an aus? <laughs> <laughs> Macht Spaß. Geil. Uh, Felix, this is Luxurious, remember when we did that downstairs? Yeah. We t uh, we drove everything away with a multi car oh, right. and buckets. Right. That was before we realized we could have containers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the deluxe version. We should not complain. No, no. This is great. Yay! Yeah, that doesn't look dangerous at all. <laughs> In this house, every stone I touched, but I touched way more stones that are not in the house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It 
is a little bit frustrating to see <laughs> all this dirt and dust and destruction after we had it so clean this morning. But I have high hopes that in four hours, this will be as new, like nothing happened. Oh, as new, but better. Yeah, we just have to get through a little bit of hard work and frustration now. These will make perfect windows. Let's be scoop. Okay, that's good, ganz gut. I'm just worried that it falls down the stairs uh, and into the window. Okay, commit. Good, good, good. Careful, yes. Not into the window. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. Okay, that's good. Now, how do we fucking do this? Uh, yep! Ooh. That's good. Oder? Yeah. Should at least protect the window. Okay, one problem we're having is that it's hard to see how the staircase is attached to the house. And after everything I've seen, I would not put it past them to just lean the staircase against the wall. It looks like it's resting. Okay. It's leaning against the beam or it's resting on the beam. So that should be, this would be an opportunity for treasure right here. Yeah, right. Oh. Strange box. Strange box. Ooh. Yeah, Baba. treasure. God damn it. Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not in the window. Yeah, real life. Okay. Now I'll try to get a little bit more done around the chimney. And then I think it's one hour of cleanup and then two hours of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. What's so crazy it out, dude. It looks hammer out. Richtig krass. Und? Ja, das hat ja schon gebrannt hier, guck mal. Das ist ja im Stein drin. Alter, another surprise. This is insane. Okay, what this is, is the chimney. And they had an oven here, apparently. And the, the thing is still, it's, it might be hard to see, but the black stuff is the wall. That's not the chimney. The chimney is supposed to be inside this one. And this looks like it was so cluttered that the wall was burning up until here. So past the chimney wall into the actual wall. Now it would be interesting to see how it looks on this beam yeah. or on the top beam. You know what I mean? Yes. 
fuck. This is dangerous. I, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but it looks to me like this house was very close to burning down. Fuck. Okay, it's good. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening on the roof. Treasure? How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? Or maybe we leave it? Cause I don't, like the roof is new. I don't want to mess yeah. with that. I think I don't want to rip this out and not know what is happening above. That's nothing that I want to rush. So let's try to rip out the walls around the chimney and just pretend that we're saving the structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's empty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, up the boat. <laughs> I talked to the chimney sweep. He's been at the house before because I wanted to salvage the, or I wanted to use the, an oven. Um, and he said, if it looks like that, there, it's beyond repair. We cannot rescue it. We can, um, we should tear it down. You know what I'm really excited about? What? We're slowly coming to the point where we can use a tool that we haven't used for one and a half years, two years. The vacuum. Oh, the vacuum. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine this place dust free. Yeah. Ah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, as always, there's a lot more work to do, but I think as a reward for what we did today, I think we should sand just just a part of it and oil it just to see yeah. what we're gonna have. Okay.
Okay, I will let this dry and then come back to it, see how it looks. But so far, I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm glad we did all this work to expose the timber frame. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying the fruit of our hard, hard labor. <laughs> and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.